In this video, we are going to be coding the rock paper scissors game in the C programming language. Now we all know what the rock paper scissors game is. So it is a great example to implement all of the concepts that you have learned so far in the C programming language into practical use. So let's simply jump inside the code. And the very first thing that I'm going to tell you is that for choosing between rock paper and scissors, I'm going to be using integers 0, 1 and 2. And by the way, 0 would mean rock, 1 would mean paper while 2 would mean scissors. Now how would this game work? Basically, I would take the input from the user for his move and for the other end, I would take inputs from the computer. Now we know that computer cannot give input. So we would use a random number generator to generate numbers between 0, 1 and 2. And the function is rand which is included inside this library. So let's start off with the game. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create two variables of the integer data type and I'm going to call them user move and computer move and then I'm going to create an infinite while loop. Now the reason that I've created this infinite while loop is that I don't want the game to execute for only one time and then terminate rather I want it to keep running until the user inputs a specific number. So in here I'm going to prompt the user to enter his move. So as you can see that I've prompted the user to enter 0 for rock, 1 for paper, 2 for scissors and 9 to exit. After that I need to store that input in this variable which I have mentioned as user move and for the computer move. I'm going to get the number from the rand function. So this rand function generates number from 0 up to random maximum. So to confine it to a certain number, we use this modulus operator and then we put out the upper boundary. So this function will give us values from 0, 1 and 2. Now that we have the user's move and the computer's move, we can write down the conditions inside the if statement. And the very first condition that I'm going to check is whether the user wants to exit from the program or not. So I'm going to say like if user move is double equal to 9 then simply exit. Otherwise I'm going to type in the conditions which are if the user chooses let's say rock and the computer chooses paper then I'm going to print out that the computer has defeated the user and I'm going to also explain the reason why the computer won. Then I'm going to copy paste this condition a few more times. And I'm going to say that if you chose rock and the computer chose scissors, then you have defeated the computer. Similarly, I'm going to type in the conditions for if the user chooses paper and the computer chooses rock and also for when the user chooses paper and the computer chooses scissors. Lastly, I'm going to copy paste this two more times because we still have the option when where user chooses scissors. You can notice that I have not inputted any condition for a draw. I have not said that if you choose rock and the computer chooses rock then it's a draw or if you choose scissors and the computer chooses scissors it's a draw. Well that is because I want to go with a smart approach which is to wrap all of that inside an else statement and I am going to say like if there is any other condition other than this then simply print out shoot it's a draw. After this we can simply save this program and execute it and let me bring up the terminal a little bit. Now as you can see that it is asking us for our move. So I'm going to roll with rock. There you go. It says that you have defeated the computer because the computer rolled scissors. So I'm going to again roll for let's say paper. And this time around the computer has defeated me. Now both of the times the computer rolled for scissors. So this time around I went for scissors to check whether it was still rolling only for scissors or for something else. But it seems like that it is rolling for everything. So I can play with this. And when I'm tired, I can simply exit from it by typing in 9 and hitting enter. So that was a very simple implementation of the rock paper scissors game in the C programming language. 